new Poke Crew, it's your turn, Crowbat here, and you are watching week four of the National Pokemon Competitive Conference. This is just going to be a team builder for week four, where the New London Zoroarks, right here, I am wearing the shirt that all of you should have been wearing for the NPCC. Just throwing that out there. But, uh, okay, so the New London Zoroarks are battling the Green Bay Pikachus, aka Mr. Um, Jacob as always, but he goes by... Mr. Nintendo Fan Man. His Twitter link and YouTube link will be down in my description, so please make sure to go check him out. He is one hell of a battler. But this is just going to be a team builder, like I mentioned. Okay, so he has a, a roster. He has one hell of a roster. Now, I am going to be throwing up a, a picture of, you know, his roster so you guys can kind of see what I'm looking at right now. He has a roster that consists of Eladias, Melodic, Amoongus, Darmanitan, Deansi, Rotom, Mega Pidgeot, Terrakion, Mamoswine, Bisharp, and Crustle. Now, looking at that, we didn't really have... We kept going back and forth. Scruffy, Fox, and myself kept going back and forth regarding our walls. As you can see, we don't really have any walls on our team for week four. The reason being, Terrakion puts one hell of a hole in our walls. They pour... We don't really have any switchings to Terrakion. Uh, so, Terrakion, like, no one wants to switch into Terrakion. Terrakion can just two-shot a lot of our Pokemon. So, thinking about that, we couldn't really afford to have any walls. We were thinking, rather, Scruffy Fox was thinking, that if we threw him off this week, because we've always been playing safe, if we threw him off this week by bringing Hyper Offense, like you see right here, then perhaps we will have a chance of actually defeating... Uh, Jacob, which would be fantastic. It would be awesome to uh, to have a four, you know, just a win four times in a row. It would be pretty awesome. But as you can see right here, Lobotomy is coming with the Mega Horn, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Sword Stance. He has a Lumberry because if Jacob brings that Rotom, I mean, I am not. Sh I don't know. No one's gonna pack Willow under Mantan. I don't believe. But. If Rotom comes, Rotom could very well pack that Willow for a potential Scallopee that may come, which it is coming. So, if he wants to Willow Scallopee, that's perfectly fine, because we have a Lumberry, so we can get a free Sword Stance up and just wreck house with, uh, with our team. Now, the next Mon right here, Mousetrap the Bronzong, we want to at least set up, we want to try and set up our screens, and uh, we want rocks on his side. So, we can have this potential sweep. Now, Bronzong has a light clay for said screens and explosion. And I'm going to explain, I'm going to explain the plan later on in the battle, or later on in the team builder. I'm just going to go on and, and uh, show you guys the sets that we are going to be bringing. So, we're going to bring McGregor to Whimsicott. Now, we weren't really sure how well Whimsicott, Whimsicott was going to do against Jacob's team. I threw six Pokemon who we thought he was going to bring into a team builder and he did have a great grass weakness but unfortunately our only grass mon was whimsicott who was very very frail it has prankster which is awesome so we kept going back and forth about bringing whimsicott now scruffy fox mentioned that whimsicott gets memento so we stuck with the memento idea and we wanted Memento on Whimsicott along with Encore. Because maybe we can Encore uh, Jacob into uh, into a Sword Stance. We could Encore him into really anything. And we could Memento. And I'm going to explain Memento later on. But we have Stun Spore because we want to paralyze anything, really. If he brought a track, if he if we're facing Terrakion and Whimsicott for whatever reason, then I would love to Stun Spore that. Uh, Terrakion. I would love to stun for that Bisharp, but we have U-turn there for our momentum, obviously. We're bringing Skank right here, the Lopany, the Mega Lopany, with High Jump Kick, Fake Out, Return, Baton Pass. High Jump Kick, I'm very afraid of. I'm gonna throw that out there right now. High Jump Kick is one hell of a move to put on uh, Lopany. It hits incredibly hard. It will two-shot a lot of his Mons. The reason why we're bringing high jump kick, we've never brought it before, but we need that. We need to punch holes into his team, and we have baton pass for uh, for initiative as well, you know, to gain that momentum. But high jump kick, if we don't miss, 
then it can two shot, I believe two shot a melodic. So that would be freaking amazing if we can do that. Um, and no one really wants to take a return from uh, Megalopony. No one really wants to do that. And I'm going to be explaining things here in a moment. It's just explaining our little plan we have for Jacob. Now, Shinsuke is going to be arriving in this battle. However, he is going to be a suicide lead. Because he does have that final gambit. Now, if he wants to bring Deancey, and if he wants to lead Deancey for rocks, then we have the final gambit for said Deancey. Because as long as we get rid of that fairy mon, Lobotomy can have one hell of a uh, sweep. Because Deancey kind of checks Lobotomy. It can take quite a few moves that Lobotomy really wants to dish out. So as long as we get rid of uh, Deancey, it'll, it'll be a fun time uh, for Lobotomy and for, uh, for Skank as well. So if we can get rid of that Stealth Rocker, then I feel like we'll have uh, we'll definitely have some good uh, initiative going into this battle. Now we have V Create because well, Victini and V Create, no one really wants to uh, come in on a V Create. It'll it'll uh, two shot some of his mods. I mean, Latias doesn't really want to take a V Create after Rocks. So we have scarf. We have the scarf on a Victini for that reason because no one really wants to come in on a V Create, and if they do, we can outspeed get another V Create off. So uh, there's that. I'm hoping that uh, Victini does what he, he needs to do. We're bringing in an offensive Zapdos this week. We have Ominous Wind, Defog, Heat Wave, and Volt Switch. As you can see in the EVs, and I'm going to be explaining the EVs um, for our other mods, but. We do have the 252 in special attack, that's what makes him offensive, and we have Timid to make sure that we uh, outspeed quite a few of his mods. We have Ominous Wind, because it's super effective on Latias, and, uh, crap, who else was it? It was Latias, and it was Latias who was super effective against, and it was also, I mean, to be honest, no one really wants to take an ominous wind. I mean, you know, Mega Pidgeot can just come in and be immune. But, is, wait, as ominous wind, I forget. Yeah, it's Ghost. I figured it was Ghost. I thought it was Psychic for some reason. But yeah, so Mega Pidgeot could potentially come in on a predicted ominous wind, I guess. But that's about it. So going back, I'm going to explain our plan. Now, our plan that we have is we are going to preserve McGregor, Mousetrap, and Lobotomy for late game. Because, like I mentioned, Victini is there as a suicide lead. We can hit a final gambit, take out the check to Lobotomy, and we have Skank and Zolomon there to punch holes in his team. So we can allow these three to go down. I guess early on, we just have to make sure that we punch holes in his team. Because then we can bring out Mousetrap, and we can set up our rocks, light screen reflect, whatever. And we can explode on anyone who is in front of, uh, of Bronzong there. And we'll have that protection with light screen and reflect. So then we can bring out, we can bring out Whimsicott, really. Uh, because if we have, if we're in front of a Bisharp, obviously... Gr barring HP fire, Whimsicott can't really do too much to uh, Bisharp, uh, depending on the EV spread, of course. We have Memento, we have Encore, like I mentioned, we can Encore Bisharp into Sword Stance. We have Momentum, because it lowers the target's attack and special attack by uh, by two. So then we can allow uh, Lobotomy to come in, who is still protected by Light Screen and Reflect, and who can't really get hit hard by some of his Pokemon uh, with, you know, who got hit with Memento. And then we can start setting up Sword Stances. Because once we have at least one Sword Stance, we're gonna outspeed everything in EQ, Rock Slide, and Mega Horn, everything. We have Rock Slide for Mega Pidgeot. We have Earthquake for all of his other mons. We have Mega Horn for Latias. We have Mega Horn for... We have Mega Horn for... I'll tell you right now. We have Mega Horn for Latias, of course. Um, but no one, I mean, Amoongus as well, so Latias and Amoongus, 
can get hit hard with Mega Horn. Rock Slide is really for, well, anyone, but it's really for Mega Pidgeot. Earthquake can just destroy the rest of his mons. So, uh, so I'm glad that we're going to try going this route. I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping this works. This is a very, very hyper offensive team. And it's very new. We did this once in the Indigo. And it's something that does, it does work. It does have potential to put in the finest of work. I'm just, and I, I'm not, I shouldn't be worried about this. I shouldn't be, but high jump kit. Now, this whole idea was the Scruffy Fox's idea. He wanted to go hyper offensive. And after hearing him out, I actually cold hearted, cold hearted agree to this. I, I agreed 100% guys, because Vaporeon does not want to come in on a Trakion. Vaporeon doesn't want to come in on really a Darmanitan whose choice banded. Yeah, he could bring a choice Scarf Darmanitan, which it'll be fine. I mean, it'll be less power, so it'll be fine. Vaporeon can't really take two hits coming in on one of those attacks. Even a close combat from Trakion, like I mentioned. So, we really, really, really need to go hyper offensive. I'm actually really excited to use this, uh, simply because, like I mentioned, we went hyper offensive in the Ingo, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So bringing hyper offensive for week four, I feel will throw Jacob off. I feel like it will. In the weeks prior to this, we played safe. We brought walls. You know, we we uh, we planned accordingly, and we just planned to have a couple walls. We played safe. This week, we can't do that. This week, we have to destroy. We have to go out and destroy and wreck his mons. We have to just punch large holes in his team. We have to. And even though I want to use Shinsuke as just an attacker, Scruffy Fox mentioned the whole final gambit plan, and it will work. It definitely will work if he plans on leading Deontay. I mean, if he plans on leading Darmanitan with the U-turn, a Scarf Darmanitan with the U-turn, then so be it. Really, the final gambit is for that Deontay. So I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, I'm hoping he does lead Deontay. And I hope the Ominous Wind idea works. It should work. It definitely should work. Um, it does have a chance to raise all my stats by one. So if we get that Ominous Wind boost, then no one would really want to switch into a Heat Wave or Vault Switch. Yeah, yeah, he has a Mammo, but Mammo doesn't want to get hit with a Heat Wave. Mammo doesn't really want to be in on a high jump kick or anything really from uh, Lopini either. McGregor is McGregor Mousetrap and uh, Lobotomy are our, I guess what you would want to call wind conditions. Lobotomy is our real wind condition, barring we have the screens up and barring we have uh, the momentum working in our favor. And I would love to stun Spore a fucking Trakion. Sorry about my cursing, but this team Jacob has, this roster Jacob has, is really threatening to our team. So for the first time in a few weeks, we are kind of threatened out. But it, at the same time, it made us prepare very, very well. It made us prepare for things that don't want to switch in on any of his Pokemon. So... That's why we have that suicide lead. That's why we have the explosion. That's why we have the sword stance lobotomy. That's why we're bringing all of this. And I do have to say that I already mentioned once, but I am very, very excited to use this. I just kind of woke up maybe an hour or two ago. So I am excited, even though I may not seem it. I'm still kind of drowsy and just kind of, uh, I'm excited. I am excited. I'm excited to be bringing I don't think I've used Shinsuke and Solomon before. I have, a, I have a horrible memory. Maybe I have. I'm not even sure. But I did not bring McGregor, Shinsuke, and Solomon all in one team. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I'm happy. And I don't know. I don't know. This, I feel, is going to help. This will definitely help. And this isn't going to be a long team builder at all. Because I don't really necessarily need to explain all of the... EVs. Um, I mean, Lobotomy is kind of a normal set. 252 HP, 252 attack, 4 and defense, adamant. 
uh, because we want the Bonami to be able to take an attack or two after the Memento. And so moving to Mousetrap, we do have the 252 in HP, 76 in defense, and 118 in special defense. The reason why we have those stats is because we have screens on Bronzong, so we need him to be able to live an attack or two to get the screens up and to get an explosion up. Hopefully that works out. Hopefully we're able to get the light screen and light reflect up and the explosion. That would be that would be a good time. It really, really would. We'll see what happens. McGregor is 252 HP, 44 special defense, and 212 in speed. We wanted McGregor to be able to outspeed a lot of his mons, barring Scarfers, of course. We have 44 in special defense because we wanted McGregor to be able to live an attack or two and to U-turn uh, out if need be. Now, obviously, Stun Spore, Encore, Memento are all activated by Prankster, so it doesn't really matter if his Mon outspeeds us. We can get Stun Spore, Encore, or Memento off, but we just really wanted to uh, outspeed a lot of his Mons to get that initiative with uh, with U-turn. Now, Lobo uh, not Lobotomy, rather, Skank the Lopony is 4 HP, 252 attack, 4 defense, 4 special defense, and 244 in speed. Now, Lobotomy, uh, Lopony, rather, does have decent defenses and defense and special defense. It's, a uh, base 95, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Scruffy Fox actually mentioned that to me, and I have to throw this out there. If you haven't been following Scruffy Fox, I suggest you do so. He's my best friend. He's one hell of a guy. Go follow him. He's amazing. I love the guy. So, he mentioned to me, you know, Lopony has some decent defenses. So, as long as we pack a little bit in defense, and a little bit in special defense, and a little bit in HP, it should be fine. Obviously, you don't want to use Lopony as a tank, as, you know, a wall. You don't want to do that. So, that's why we're packing the Adamant, High Jump Kick, Fake Out, Return, Baton Pass. Baton Pass is for initiative to gain that momentum if we do need it. I'm actually excited to bring this kind of Lopony. I think we brought this kind of Lopony once before, because it was able to take an attack or two, or maybe even three, depending on what attack it is, of course. It's going to be, it's going to put in the work. It's going to make me proud. I already know that. Shinsuke is 252 of HP, 36 attack at 220 in speed. The reason why we have these EVs is if he does want to shoot off a, uh, not a rock slide. If he does want to shoot off some sort of move from the Deontay, I completely forget what move, uh, Deontay gets. Diamond Storm, that's the move. If he wants to shoot off of that then we can live one, at least one, oh my god. And then we can just, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, we're Scarfer, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to be able to final game at that dance and kill it, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, we do want to make sure v, uh, Victini lives if we, if we're not, un, if we're unable to do the final game at lead like we want to, but... We have Zalman, 28 HP, 4 defense, 252 special attack, 4 special defense, 220 in speed. The reason why, because Zapdos already has great defenses. So, we really wanted him to be hyper offensive, just like the rest of this squad here. And we just wanted to put a little bit in defense and special defense, just so he can take... Just so he can take, you know, an attack. I don't... Th Maybe, maybe, maybe at full. Maybe one Ice Shard. I don't know. And then, you know, we can throw off that Heat Wave. I don't know. I know Mammoth Swan's powerful F, so I'm not really sure we can take one Ice Shard. I'm looking at the EVs, maybe we can. Maybe we can. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I may be explaining these wrong. I may... I uh, Maybe. I'm not really sure. But I do know that we did pack some investment in some of these mons so they can live and attack. So that's basically what this team is all about. Hyper offensive, and we want to be able to at least take one attack and dish out our, um, dish out some damage to his side, to his team. But like I mentioned, Skank, Victini, uh, Skank, Shinsuke, and Zolomon are all going to be able to, uh, put dents in his team. So they're going to be rocking out first. McGregor, Mousetrap, and Lobotomy are all going to be sitting in the back, just waiting for their turn to shine. Waiting for their time to shine. So, uh, this will be very, very fun. I think it's going to throw them off. I really do think it's going to throw them off, and I'm happy that it will. 
He thinks that we're just gonna be bringing a wall. He thinks we're gonna be... I actually think he's... I think that he thinks we're gonna bring Vaporeon. Because we've been bringing Vaporeon for a wall as of late. So I think he thinks we're gonna be... We're going to be playing safe. Which we are not, and we're gonna throw him off his game. So I'm hoping that this works out in our favor. Uh, but that's basically it, guys. That's basically it. This is, uh... This is our team for week four, when the new London Zoroarks battled the Green Bay Pikachus, aka Jacob as always, aka Mr. Nintendo Fan Man. Twitter link, YouTube link will be down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this, these uh, videos. Sorry that I didn't have one for week three. I was just way too busy. I, I really, really was. Uh, but I think I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I have work soon. I have to start getting ready for that. So if you guys are in fact enjoying these videos, then let me know in the comment section below. Let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Just let me know on Twitter. My Twitter link is in my descri uh, description. Follow me. I'm a talkative guy. I talk to everybody. So make sure you do that. I'm going to get the hell out of here like I mentioned. I hope all of you have a great day and I'll catch all of you all on the flip side. Bye.